Hello and welcome. My God, my God, I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. So guys, Amazon has opened its first office in Lagos, Nigeria. So a couple months ago, Amazon announced officially that it would be, you know, spreading its uh, services across, you know, across Europe into the African continent, particularly West Africa. And it chose Nigeria to be one of its hotspots. So today, Amazon, um, today is 1st of November. Yeah, today is 1st of November. So Amazon has officially opened its first office in Lagos, Nigeria. So the new office in Lagos is part of Amazon Web Services support for the growing number of customers and partners in Nigeria. This office will support organizations of all sizes, including startups, startups, go and start up, oh, Amazon don't show, start up something, including enterprises and public, sec pu public sector agencies, I beg your pardon, as they make transition into the Amazon Web Services Cloud. So basically, if you use Amazon or you know about Amazon, you know, it is very, it is a very a crucial time in Nigeria to begin to go into entrepreneurial stuff, to produce your own stuff and ship it on a global market. So I, I know that a lot of us have heard about Amazon KDP, Amazon Kindle Publishing, where you can write books and publish them on Amazon and then get Amazon to promote your product and you get a percentage from each sale that is being made on Amazon. So basically, Amazon has set up a new base in Lagos, Nigeria, and the new office of Amazon Web Services is its latest investment. That's the new office in Lagos is Amazon's latest investment in Africa. So, you know, African fintech is beginning to explode. Um, more and more Africans are uh, becoming more aware and they are beginning to venture into um, the, the whole tech and tech industry. You know, um, we already have Conga, we have Jumia, who are going to be in for a very huge competition as Amazon arrives, you know, Nigeria and it begins to operate in the Nigerian market. So um, the team of Amazon Web Service account managers, partner managers, and other people, you know, they really took time to look into the Nigerian market and felt that this was a very suitable time for them to expand their services right into Nigeria. So this is a huge one. So let us say, for instance, now that I make this shirt. So if I make this shirt and I'm, I'm, I'm based in a quiet bomb, so let us say I make this shirt and I'm able to put this shirt on Amazon and through any means possible, I market myself and make myself popular. All I need to do is just drop my link, my, my product link, my Amazon product link and somebody anyway in Nigeria we will just go on Amazon and order my product and Amazon will ship this product to them. So before now, I would have to think of, oh my God, how am I going to give a, a someone who wants my clothes down um, in Lagos? How am I give someone in maybe Port Harcourt or Asaba or the northern part of this country? But with Amazon on board, they are the ones to carry out the logistics and the shippings and you know the, the other costs involved in moving this product to your customer base that is fired from you. So if I'm able to produce maybe say 1,000 units of shirt and I drop it on Amazon, Amazon will then ship these things to anyone that orders for this product and will charge them for shipping fee. So this is this is this is huge, guys. This is amazing. So please, if you're if you're into any form of entrepreneur, any form of product um, or service delivery, try and you know step up your game. To something to an international level, because Amazon Amazon will not ex, um, accept any product that is poorly done and having poor finishes, and it is very local and substandard. So if you're able to up your game and make it to be high standard, high quality, something that can compete on the international market, Amazon will gladly uh, market your products for you. So they have set up office today in Lagos, and they are set to begin operations very very soon this is a huge one for the nigerian economy this is a huge one for africa and you know this is a huge one for nigeria as a whole so as i keep emphasizing on this channel beautiful things are happening beautiful things i really wish i started recording on this channel quite early because in case you don't know microsoft too early this year had equally built built 
a Microsoft headquarters is and um, it, I think it's South Af it, it's African headquarters in Lagos. If you see the building, fine building like this, so Microsoft had equally set up headquarters. Many Chinese firms are coming to set up their base in Lagos, in the west and in the northern part of the country. We have Japanese firms coming. We have firms from South Korea coming. We have firms from even Russia and some other parts of Europe coming to set up shop in Nigeria to, to build and to expand. Now, you may feel, oh, these people are coming to come and support us. No, they are coming to build their base. And it is Nigerians that will work in that factory. It is Nigerians that will be paid salaries from that factory. It is Nigeria that is, is going to be the location. They will write they made in Nigeria, not made in another country. So there's a lot we stand to gain from, you know, um, um, public, in, um, sorry, not public, foreign investors coming in to tap into our current market and to expand and sell to Europe. So please, like I keep saying, love your country, pray for your country, hope for the best for this country, pray for the army, pray for your president, pray for your respective governors and those in authority, and most especially, like this video, share, subscribe, and remain blessed.